everyone, welcome to another episode of rawradianthealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So I got an email last night from someone that signed up for the next Juice Fast and she was asking me, she was like, how do you tell your friends and family that either you're about to go on to a raw food diet or you're about to go on to a juice fast, like how do you break the news to your friends and family that you're about to change your lifestyle and get healthier? And great, great question. So I have two, two words of advice, okay? The first one is enthusiasm and the second one is timing, okay? And as we all know, enthusiasm, it's contagious, okay? If you're excited about something, everyone around you is gonna be excited about something. If you are doubtful, if you are a little insecure, people pick up on it and they become doubtful and insecure. So whenever you're about to sort of break the news about anything, you always have to bring it up in a very enthusiastic way, in a way that shows that you're sincerely happy, you're excited, this is a good thing. Whether you're bringing it up because you're about to do a change or that you've already done the change and you wanna let them know. One way or another, really, you know, if you're insecure and if you're timid about it and if you're unsure, it's like they just prey on that. And, and especially because if, if you're really unsure about something, they pick up on it and then they'll become unsure about it and they'll be like, are you sure this is a good thing? And they're gonna start doubting and, and so, but the moment that you're really, really confident about your decision, it's amazing to see how the people that would be the, like the last people to support you will support you. And it really just comes down to you and, and it's kind of like your life force and your energy. That's what people pick up on. Not, not really what you're saying or what you're doing. Now, the other thing too is timing. Okay, this is a really important factor. Like I have, I have a client that she, she does my favorite thing. She doesn't, she doesn't like. She's been on a raw food diet for months. Okay, hundred percent raw, but at first she didn't want to tell her friends or family, and then she just decided to wait until people would start noticing the changes in her. Okay, that that you know the moment someone would say like a friend or a family member would be like oh my goodness you're just glowing or you look beautiful today or have you lost some weight or anyone that notices positive changes in her that's when she tells them you know and it's perfect because you know then she turns around and goes actually yeah I've been on the raw food diet or I just finished a juice fast whatever it is but if you know seeing is believing, right? So if someone is the one that notices and comments and compliments you on some sort of change in your life, then for you to turn around and say, you know, this is what I'm doing, they can't turn around to you and say that's a bad thing or, or doubt it because they see the results, you know? And it, it's another thing to, when you're first getting onto either a juice fast or the raw food diet and you might be detoxing and feeling lousy or even getting sick or, you know, I, that's kind of like the last, you know, it's not the most appropriate time to tell someone that you're change your diet to a raw vegan diet or that you're on some sort of fast because immediately they're gonna be like, well, you're getting sick, this is not a good thing and they're gonna get freaked out. So it's really important that like, you know, for each person that you're going to confine in about your diet to really be aware of like how they're going to react and you know what's the best way to tell them or best circumstance or best time to tell someone that you know that they're going to react in the best way so you know if you don't tell someone if you don't tell your family member or your best friend immediately that you're doing a raw food diet it's not a big deal because also in the beginning, you know, this is the time for you and this is the time for you to explore it and experiment and to see if this works for you. And a lot of times, you know, it's only until you really know, okay, this is something that is working for me. This is something I'm really enjoying. This is something that agrees with me and my body. Then it's a better time to then tell people. But in the beginning, when you're just trying to feel your way out, and there's you know maybe a few bumps along the way it might not be the best time to tell the world about the change especially because who knows maybe the next day you decide to do something differently so 
my advice is, you know, take your time. You don't need to, like, you know, tell the world. But if you do need to tell people, then by all means, go ahead. But, but really know when the right time to do it is and how, how to really best present it. And when it comes down, especially with fasting, because, you know, juice fasting or water fasting, those kind of things, or any kind of cleansing, detox kind of programs, these things, because they're short term, if you need to tell people, then tell them. But even if you don't, it's not a big deal. Like I know for myself, the amount of fasting I do, I don't tell my family and friends like every time I'm fasting, you know, only if it comes up, only if, let's say, they're inviting me out somewhere and I, I, I'm not eating at that time, then, then it would come up. But I'm not going to decide, oh, okay, you know, this month I'm going to go and do a fast and i got to phone everyone to let them know. No, you know, I, I only bring it up when I really need to, especially because fasting can only be like a few days or a week or 10 days or whatever. It's not a long stretch of time. It's not the rest of my life that this information doesn't need to really be broadcasted out to everyone. So that's another thing too, is respect your own boundaries and your, your own life and your own privacy as well. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's your body, it's your health, it's your life. So take your time, there's no rush, and, and ease into things. You know, your whole life doesn't have to change overnight. and most importantly too is don't expect the people around you to change when you present your new diet to people it's about you and you presenting it about what you're doing for you and not about preaching or any of that to anyone else or telling anyone else what to do all right so those are my little tips for today and i'm also just reminding you guys one more time the juice fast is starting next monday it's just in a few days so do go to my website and sign up because you also get a menu planner for the few days before the juice fast and also how to break the fast because it's really nice to be able to ease into it in a gentle way and to also transition out of the fast properly. So you do get that as well and a bunch of information to get you going and then there's online forum, there's videos every day and I support everyone on the forum. So it's a really it's a great program so go to my website and sign up it starts may 3rd that's this coming monday go to www.rawradianthealth.com and i'll see you guys tomorrow have a fabulous day everyone bye